Well, hello everybody. This is Rose. <sighs> there were times when I thought that this day would never come. But here it is. Do you know what this is? This is the bag that the last four diamond paintings in the humongous Peggy Buy Hall came in. And with the removal of this of this painting, this bag is empty. So this is the last of the 48 free diamond paintings that I got in the humongous Peggy by Hall. Now I'm hoping I saved the best for last. I don't know because I didn't know what this what this was. Like I just reach into the bags and pick at random. Um, but I did. I, I knew it was big, so I, I saved it for the end. Um, I'm really hoping I go out on a firecracker instead of a fizzle. We'll see. We're gonna see together. Okay, so. Uh, just a quick recap of the humongous Peggy by Hall. I ordered 44 free diamond paintings on January 3rd. Uh, I, and for that, I paid something like $317 Canadian shipping. On January 4th, I had buyer's remorse. And I got in touch with Peggy by and said, I want to cancel my order. They pretended they didn't understand what I was saying. And a few days later, after back and forths, uh, with them on uh, email they said oh you know what we've shipped the diamond paintings to you so sad but you can pick any four diamond paintings you want off of our site so I chose their three most expensive diamond paintings that I liked and um, I picked the cat tapestry which I opened yesterday uh, which is in a series that I absolutely love. Anyway, and I was not disappointed with the cat tapestry, as it turns out. Go back and watch the video. I'll stick it up in the corner here. Uh, can you see? Yeah, I'll stick it up in the corner here. Okay, so this one, uh, this one here, I call Blue and Green Peacocks Large. And it's large, I call it large, because it's supposed to be 50 by 95. Now what that actually means is it's probably gonna be about 45 by 85, but we're gonna measure that. Uh, but what that also means is that to open it and measure it and so that you can see it all, I'm gonna to have to put it on the floor. So we're gonna do a road trip in just a minute. Uh, but for now, let us I'm not going to show you, and I don't want to see uh, the canvas. Uh, I'm going to do the boring stuff first. Here's the kit that came with it. It's got, looks like, three baggies, because, you know, you need three baggies. I need three baggies. I'll find a good use for them. A little plate of wax, a drill tray, and a single placer. Okay, that's good. And then it's got um, the ribbon packaging for the drills. Okay, so I'm liking, sorry, that just slid onto the floor, but that's okay. It's going to be landing on the floor soon anyway. Uh, I got to say, I love those colors. Look how beautifully they're packed. Those people who pack the drills, they really do do a nice job. Oh, but this is ribbon packaging, so it's easier to pack it looking nice like that. But they're so flat. Anyway, beautiful. We'll, we'll get to those in a moment. All right, I'm going to... Okay, so this is a very, very thin canvas. Super thin. Uh, I am wearing like a cotton t-shirt, sort of long sleeve t-shirt. And the material here is thinner than that. It's not at all stiff. It's very pliable. So I am not worried about any kind of canvases or... or Canvases. I'm not worried about any kind of creases or anything like that. Um, this is, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to set it up on the floor. Kick my, which way does it go? Okay, it goes that way. Kick my stool aside. 
kick my empty bags aside because this is the fourth unboxing I've done today. All right, and oh, unfortunately, there's glare on the plastic. I'm not sure how I can fix that because it is what it is. Let me see if I can raise you up just a wee bit so that you can see the whole thing. All right, I am not sure how well you can see this. I wonder if I'm going to put my blinds down just to see whether that cuts back on um, somewhere. This is the first time I've put my blinds down since last summer. Uh, maybe a little bit. I think I think it's just the plastic coating. I think it's just the plastic coating that is, um, you know, giving us some glare. Uh, so I'm going to take you out of the cradle, and I'm going to show you the magnificence of this diamond painting because this diamond painting really is all that in a bag of chips. Yes. Yes, I am very happy with this. Wow. Okay, the colors are just beautiful. The level of detail is gorgeous. Gorgeous level of detail. I hope I'm going to have enough wall space to hang this. I'm going to find wall space. I'll stick it to the ceiling if I have to. Wow. Yeah, man. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Very, very gorgeous. Uh, let's take a look. Well, first, I'm going to put you back in the cradle. And I am going to um, just flatten out the, uh, the plastic. I'm going to kick my stool aside. And get my trusty depressor. Okay. And because of the size, they put two um, sheets of plastic on it, which is good because then I can work on each. Oh shoot! That part of the plastic to the other side of the canvas. Okay, so I will be careful with that. All right. Last time I had to do one of these on the floor, my daughter was here and was able to warn me of incoming cats. Because I would hate to have a cat walk across a diamond painting while I was flattening it out. And I realize I'm talking down to the painting, and so I'm not sure if you heard that. I'm trying to get as many of the bubbles out of the plastic. Um, as possible because I think that will reduce the uh, the chance of um, glare. Oh, I think I'm making it worse. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's pretty flat there. Here, down here. Okay. Oh, see if I did it again. Oh, my goodness. All right, I gotta be careful. More careful. Okay.
right, I should not aim for perfection. I should just get this done. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, you can't see it all. Okay, let's see. Can you see it all? No, you can't see it all. Oh, my goodness. You still can't see it all. But anyway, it, trust me, it is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. All right. I am going to measure it now. Uh, let me give you some details. So, uh, blue and green peacock supposed to be 50 by 95. It's round. Is it round? Yeah, it's round. Um, I got it for free. I put the order in for the four free, absolutely free ones on January 14th. Like the, that's when I told them which four I wanted. Uh, they shipped it on January 16th and I received it February 6th, which was really fast. At the time I chose this diamond painting, it was $17.90 Canadian. Now, it is $30.45 Canadian. Wow, okay, that's, that's really good. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's, I, oh, this was a bargoon. Such a bargoon. Okay, so let's see how wide it is. It is 45. by 90, 89, 45 by 89, wow, all right, 45 by 89, I'm going to update my spreadsheet for that, okay, so let us show you the drill field and the legend, so we have, I'll put the camera on now, or the light on now, uh, we have 24 colors, and there is our legend. Look at you can even you can tell just from the legend that the colors are going to be lovely. And then here's our drill field. Look at, even even just from about a foot away. That looks like a peacock. There's no doubting that's a peacock. This is an exceptional buy for $30.40, which would be probably around 22 US, I would think. Um, let me check it. Yeah, it's $22.90 US. And for those of you in the UK, it is... 17 pounds 96 cents. That's a really good deal for a diamond painting this large. That is this beautiful. I mean, the there's no pixelation here. Second peacock's head and eyes. Like, oh my goodness. And there's not a single drill placed on this yet. And there we have the, the eyes of the peacock feathers. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put you back over top of the table. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, show you the drills. What did I say? It's 24 colors, I think. Yeah, 24 colors. So let's open up the cellophane bag. And I do I, I do like the ribbon packaging. Um, it's it's easy. I mean I think I like better the ones that they actually bag for you already in Ziploc bags, but I like the ribbon packaging. I like it a lot. Okay, so here we go. One. 
Uh, do we have DMC? So we do have DMC numbers on there. So one, two, more two, three, four. You know I love that color. Five, more five. That is not a 550 as far as, it's not as deep a 550 as I'm used to, but I'll go with it. I'll definitely need to check that color before I put any spares away because I could not use this as a 550 uh, in another painting. Uh, that was six, seven, eight, more eight, nine, that's a pretty green, ten, eleven, twelve, I do love my eight twenty threes, thirteen, more thirteen, fourteen, okay, I, I sucked in a breath because that's just Beautiful. Wow, love that. 15, 16, 17, more 17, 18, so pretty, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, more 23, and 24. All right. I am so happy with these last two diamond paintings. Actually, the last three diamond paintings. So happy. So happy. Can I tell, did I mention that I'm so happy? Um, they're phenomenal. Uh, and, and I got them for 100% free. Um, so uh, that is the Peggy by, what did I call it? What did I call this one? I'm going to stick up a picture of what it's supposed to look like in here. Because... It's going to be stunning. And it's actually going to look like the picture. Who knew? I certainly wasn't sure before I started this. Okay, uh, so my, I think, what did I call it? Uh, blue and green peacocks. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the blue and green peacocks. An amazing buy. I'm so happy with it. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with it. I don't know when the heck I'm going to do it because it's big. But this one I'm definitely going to be doing because it's beautiful. Wow. Okay, everybody, uh, I, I'm just going to sort of look at it myself, but you don't have to do that. Um, and so I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm going to say thank you very much to all of my viewers and all of my subscribers. This whole journey of doing the Peggy Buy Haul has been as much for you as it has been for me. Because there were some times that, you know, especially after I opened a diamond painting that was disappointment, a, a disappointment. It's like, oh my God, why am I doing this? I don't want to open anymore. But then I would open the next one because I knew that there were a number of you out there who really enjoyed this series. And so I opened the next ones and I found ones that I loved. So I'm actually overall super happy with the way this turned out. Yeah, there were some really crappy canvases, really bad pictures. Oh my goodness, the Disney princesses. Frightening, as somebody said, those eyes. Um... <laughs> But then you've got something like this and it's stunning and it would have been worth the price to pay for it. 
um, but I got it free. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do one more video in this series. It'll be the 49th, or no, the 50th. Yeah, it'll be the 50th because I, I did one at the very beginning that was sort of receiving the, the thing and setting up the whole um, idea of what the humongous Peggy Buy Hall was. So this is a 50 uh, video series. Um, the last one will be just a summary of everything and it'll be um, how much I paid in shipping versus how much those diamond paintings would cost me right now. And um, and I think I'm going to be very, very pleased with the outcome. Uh, because, uh, yeah, yeah, some of these diamond paintings, they, they were a lot more expensive, even than I thought when I was unboxing them. Because early on in the unboxings, I thought that I had set my preference to Canadian dollars and uh, what I didn't realize is that it only keeps your preference during a session or when you're logged in. So I, when I would go in to check the current price of a diamond painting, um, it was giving me the price in USD. So, you know, I was, there were a lot of videos where I was saying, oh, well, you know, I saved 32 cents on this one. No, it was not 32 cents. It was like $3 that I saved by getting it free and paying for shipping versus, um, versus uh, paying full cost. Anyway, you're gonna get the summary of all of that uh, in my next video. Um, so I wanna thank you all for coming to visit. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because that makes me happy. And it should make you happy to make somebody happy. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. A fantastic day. And uh, I will be back with you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.